Marvel, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Avengers Save the Day. The Avengers are a team of superheroes working together to keep humanity safe. Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye have been traveling around the world to seek out and destroy the secret bases of the evil Hydra organization. The Avengers' current mission has led them to Baron Strucker and his fortress in the country of Sokovia. Strucker's fortress is protected by soldiers, special robotic mech suits, and a force field. They need to get inside to find a very special object that Strucker stole, a powerful scepter. Thor needs to send it back to Asgard where it came from. Baron Strucker sees on his security screens that the Avengers have finally found him. Can we hold them, he asks his team. They're the Avengers, blurts out a panicked Hydra soldier. Strucker frowns. Deploy the rest of the tanks, he orders. No surrender. The Avengers are at the beginning of a big battle, but their first priority is to keep the local villagers safe. Iron Man has invented new suits of armor that operate on their own. These suits are known as the Iron Legion, and Iron Man sends them out to protect people. Please stay in your homes, announces one of the drones. We will do our best to ensure your safety. Back at the fortress, streams of soldiers and tanks begin to pour out of the gates. Some of Strucker's troops carry alien weaponry. They set up in the trees and begin firing. Hawkeye fires an arrow at the base of one tree. A soldier looks down at it, puzzled. He thinks Hawkeye missed. Then the arrow explodes, throwing the soldier to the ground. Black Widow takes out several vehicles full of troops on her own. She wrestles one soldier to the ground, just as a tank pulls up behind her. Suddenly, the Hulk crashes into the fray, blocking Black Widow from the tank's blast. The Hulk then smashes more tanks. The mighty Thor dodges fire. He swings his hammer through crowds of the enemy, and it flies back into his hand. This is all a distraction, he shouts. We need to get to the scepter. Iron Man flies around the fortress, looking for the force field generator. Jarvis, the artificial intelligence that helps Tony Stark operate the Iron Man suit, scans machinery until they find it. Iron Man fires a digger missile into the ground the edge of the force field. Boom! It works! The force field drops. Captain America rushes inside the fortress and quickly makes his way to the command center, where he finds himself face to face with Baron Strucker. Where's Loki's scepter? demands Cap. Don't worry, I'll give you the precious scepter, says Strucker. I know when I'm beat. But then, Strucker pulls out a grenade and throws it at Captain America. Cap quickly grabs it out of the air and tosses it against a far wall where it blows up without harming him. It's over for Strucker. Meanwhile, Iron Man also enters the fortress. Coming upon a small secret door, Tony Stark sheds his suit and squeezes into a narrow tunnel. At the end of it, he finds a room filled with equipment and the scepter. Tony speaks into his comms to the rest of the Avengers. I have it. With the battle over, the villagers safe, and the scepter acquired, the Avengers get back on board their Quinjet and head toward home, Avengers Tower in New York. Thor holds the scepter in his hand. Feels good, right? asks Tony. You've been after this since S.H.I.E.L.D. collapsed. This brings it to a close, agrees Thor. Captain America jumps in. As soon as we fully understand what that thing's been used for. Tony nods. He and Dr. Bruce Banner will run lots of tests on the scepter before it goes back to Asgard. The Avengers won today's battle and completed their mission. They worked together as a team to save the day. But they have many more battles ahead of them 
to keep the peace on earth, and their next enemy will be the most difficult foe they have ever faced.